My first question is, after the fight against Eric Molina back in 2017, you were kind of inactive for a year and you just returned to the ring against Carlos Negron late last year. Do you feel that fight against Carlos might have shook some ring rust and maybe helped you prepare for the fight against Deontay Wilder? Yeah, I think definitely. Uh, anytime you have a little bit of a layoff, um, a little bit of ring rust, and uh, you know you don't, of course, feel it until the night itself. But I'm glad I was able to get in on September 22nd and do what I did against Carlos Negron. I'm happy to be getting back in the ring as soon as I am now for the WC title shot. Um, you know, there wasn't there wasn't a long layoff between me getting out of the ring September 22nd, taking a couple of days off for Christmas and New Year's, and getting right back into the gym in January. Um, so I, I think, uh, like I said earlier, I had, I've had a great camp. I've had. Uh, a lot less lay, uh, laid off than, than usual in the past, and uh, in all all all, all cylinders of fire. You know, it, it, during that time between the Molina fight and the Carlos Negron fight, I mean, well, was it tough having to wait, you know, essentially more than a year before you knew you would get that opportunity to face Deontay since you did win a title eliminator against Molina a couple of years back? Yeah, it's definitely tough. Uh, um, I won the WC title eliminator against Carlos Molina, and then uh, to be told that, you know, it's going to be sometimes six months, seven months, which turned into, I think, about a, almost a year. Um, that was very tough because I'm one of those guys that stays in the gym uh, whether I'm sparring, you know, every, every other day or, or sparring once a week. I'm always in the gym and I'm always working. Uh, sometimes that can take a toll on you. Uh, but, you know, uh, fortunately, in my favor, it worked out great. Um, I got I got another fight against Carlton Gone and defended the WC mandatory. And here I am, you know, a year, year and a half later, uh, getting ready to fight for the World Title. So, it, in a sense, it kept me, kept me motivated. It kept me working. Lastly, I mean, I know you mentioned about Deontay Wilder's, I guess, lack of fundamentals uh, from your eyes. What did you think of Deontay's performance against Tyson Fury? Did watching that fight kind of give you a, a better idea of what you need to do to beat Deontay Wilder? Yeah, definitely. It gave me some, uh, some better things to, to focus in on and to hone in on. Uh, at the same time, um, I, I think, uh, you know, just to, to put my peace in mind, I believe I was there in person. I thought Fury won that fight. I know he got knocked down a couple times, um, but... As far as the boxing, uh, you know, world looks at it and the way you score a boxing match, uh, Tyson Fury outboxed uh, Wilder that night and won that, that fight. But uh, Fury, uh, Fury did some good things. He did some great head movements. He did some great defensive tactics as well as counter punching. Um, on the other hand, Wilder did the same thing over and over like he's done in his last four or five fights for his last four or five years. It's, it's total one, two, and hopefully, hoping and pray that that right hand uh, lands eventually. Um, so, I, you know, there was. Some things that I learned from the fight as well as some things that I continuously see seen and over and over time and time again. Thanks, Dominic, and best of luck on May 18. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks again.